but they also deliver food. Believe it or not. So, these are Starship food delivery robots, and besides the fact they're fun to watch and or mess around with, they've also become more and more popular as they've been expanding to college campuses across the US, and they came to mind in the beginning of fall semester. In this video, I wanna have a little bit of fun, kinda of showcase these guys for people that don't have them on their campus or aren't on a campus at all, uh, and then tell y'all about my experience with these robots thus far. Let's get into things. First, let's run through the delivery process start to finish. You use the Starship app to send orders to the robots, here you see me customizing my subway order, and the restaurant options are definitely quite limited at the moment, and the delivery range as I understand it is exactly campus limits. Thankfully, the subway menu is pretty extensive, so I'm able to craft the best, most perfect sub, that's Italian urban cheese, steak, pepper jack, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and chipotle sauce, gotta take notes kids, and once you place the order, you get this screen. What happens next is typical restaurant stuff. If it's Starbucks, they make your drink. If it's Subway, they assemble the sub. You should assemble me a sub, by the way, by hitting that subscribe button down below. And the robot is on its way in just a few minutes. On average, I'd say the time the robot takes to arrive is about two to three times as long as Google Maps will tell you it'll take to walk the distance. But once the robot arrives, it's as simple as meeting it outside unlocking the food bay from the app and collecting the food. Delivery is $2 pretty much across the board and assessing the delivery intactness, here's the sub I got. And a Starbucks drink I got from another time. Both a little less put together than if you got it yourself, but you know, both very much eatable and drinkable. So now that we know what the experience is like, let me talk about how convenient it is to use, if it's worth it, and as a tech nerd, if I think it'll persist into the future. The answer to the first question is yes and no. Obviously, I'm walking through campus pretty regularly, which means I'm passing restaurants left and right at various points in my schedule. And that subway from earlier in the video would definitely not have been too out of my way in my regular daily schedule at all. But you also gotta consider like being able to arrive at the building you got a class in, kinda just sit down, not have to worry about navigating the lines if there's lines at the restaurants, figure out what you're gonna eat or anything like that, and just kinda sit back, study, and be able to order food simultaneously and not have to go out of your way to do so. It's kind of a guilty thing to admit that you're actually weighing the cost of uh, using the app to order something through a robot when it could just be a few minutes out of your schedule, but at the same time, school is tiring, convenience is very important in the life of a college student, and so in this regard, I would give the service three out of five stars. The second question, is it worth it both in effort of using the app and cost of delivery, is also a mixed bag. Let me be clear, the app is pretty sucky, and I definitely did lose a free delivery code by the app applying it to my order, having it crash, and then not being able to use it again, and also generally navigating through stuff and making menu selections is not the smoothest. But I'll say it again, it's better than standing in line, and I do like that you can see the robot moving in real time on the map and the estimated delivery time is pretty accurate. The main kicker for me is the $2 delivery price, and I know it doesn't sound like much compared to traditional delivery, but you also gotta understand it's not like traditional delivery, and that the distances are short, you're not gonna be ordering much food at all, and probably not gonna be splitting it among people like you could with traditional delivery, uh, and making the price make more sense. And so, it definitely does feel like for me, it's not something that's gonna be able to be feasibly used pretty regularly just cause Two dollars, one meal every day for five days of the school week, that's gonna be ten dollars which would get me one and a half subs that I could have had throughout that week if I just used my own two feet to go and get the food. And so in this department I'll give it two stars. Lastly but not leastly, I'm gonna go ahead and give Starship Robots four out of five stars in the concept category because I definitely do think that automated things, including food delivery robots, will take a bigger role in our lives going into the future. These guys definitely get a lot right as they go pretty fast, up to 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles an hour. They know footpaths on campus pretty well and even seem to know when the walk sign is on to cross the street. 
Of course, they get stuck sometimes or just happen to get caught amongst a bunch of people and end up with the food being delayed, but they can be remote controlled by a human in circumstances like that. And honestly, I've never had a significant delay or have a delivery just outright fail. But they cost $2 for something that could take two minutes, and I personally won't be using these little robot friends going into the future very regularly at all. Let me know what you think though down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.